But what you're looking at here is a diamond coated fret crowning file. So it's a concave strip of metal with diamond bits on it. And if you've seen this before or yourself tried to order one on eBay, you'll notice half of the blade is missing. So I got this thing in the mail, ordered it from eBay, and it got all wankered up in the uh, manufacturing process. So like half of the blade is okay, but half of the blade was no good at all. And um, I also noticed that the diamond coating is kind of on the coarse side. And what if I wanted something that was a little finer? And I thought, well, I have a diamond coated sort of like ball shaped thing here. Just came with my Dremel. So I came up with this idea to make my own fret crowning file. And basically what I'm going to do is push this piece of wood through the slot and then the little ball here is going to grind a channel in the top of the piece of wood. Now the problem is that it being just a metal ball, it's going to clog up with sawdust, which is going to change its radius slightly. So I'm going to have to like push it a little bit, pull it out, wire brush the thing clean, move a little more, move a little more. Uh, but I still think this is going to work, just as a proof of concept, interesting idea. So let's see how it goes. All right. So as you can see, it worked. But I have to glue a piece of sandpaper in there, and I'm going to need something rounded. It has to be exactly the right diameter. And then it occurred to me, well, I could use a drill bit, because I can just go find a drill bit that's the right diameter, because I only have the one diameter of diamond-crusted ball. But then it occurred to me, what if I just drill a hole in a piece of wood and then cut it right along the line where I drilled it. And I basically get the same result. So let's try that. All right, I got a 964th drill bit in here. Nice brand new one. That uh, seems to be the exact diameter of that fret crowning medium jumbo file that I bought. So let's drill and cut off and see what we get. Already, that was way, way, way faster. <laughs> Look at that. I think I like this way better. Uh, it's a little more tear out and stuff with the blade, but uh, it'll be just as easy to glue a piece of sandpaper into there. I'm limited by the stroke of the drill press, though. The other way I can make the thing as long as I like. But, I mean, how big are frets anyway, right? Uh, I think this will work fine. I just cut myself a little paper strip here off of this thousand grit. Shape the file very crudely, but this will do the trick anyway. And all I gotta do is add some glue. And I got an eighth inch drill bit, one size down from 9 64ths, which seems to fit just fine for pushing this strip of paper into the gap here. Beauty. All right, here's the final product. Uh, this is my very shallow groove made with a, actually this one was made with that round Dremel bit. This is the one that was made with the drill bit. Uh, having quickly tested it before I started shooting, um, the groove in this is still too deep. So the wood 
shoulders touch down on the neck before the, um, or on the fingerboard rather, uh, before the sandpaper does. But this one is nice and shallow because I've sanded it a little bit and they're basically, but they're very close in radius anyway. So what we're looking for is to be able to drag this across the fret and take marker off the shoulders without taking the marker off the very center. That tells us we're sanding the shoulders down a bit. Okay, here I've got my neck all set up. I've already done my fret leveling and this is now crowning time. Uh, I had already processed this neck, but I found a couple of flat frets there still after my uh, hand filing. So I thought, well, let's just check them all against this new crowning file that I made. Uh, the whole point of leveling, obviously, is just making sure that the frets are all the same height because you can't have them buzzing. The problem is when you level them, you're gonna have some flat frets. Now, having a crowning file allows you to round off the fret and uh, restore the center of the fret wire as the point where you're fretting it, and also prevents buzzing, which actually occurs on the corner, I guess it's the back edge of the fret as it leaves and heads over to the bridge. So the idea is I should be able to drag this across one of these frets and expose the radius. And there's a little bit of a flat spot here. I'll show you a close up in a sec. Most of it looks good and I'm just getting a sort of hairline in the middle. So that one was crowned well. Uh, this one again had a flat spot on the shoulder. That one looks good. That one looks good. Minor flat spot. Not so bad. So these are looking all right. Most of the issues are right here on the upper strings. So here's a couple good examples of where using the crowning file has exposed just a hairline in the middle and that was where there was a flat spot. So now by rounding the corners off more, I'm reducing that flat spot to a much narrower one. And when you get it down to a sort of hairline like this, or maybe just a little better than this, then you've got a nicely crowned fret. For any of the frets, uh, let's see, here's another one that was a bit of trouble. Uh, but any of the frets where it just basically took the ink off all the way across, it already was rounded, at least rounded consistent with the drill bit um, block that I made. So I'll do the rest of the polishing on these, get these nice and cleaned up, and we are ready to move on.